Germany is one of the top countries people desire citizenship. But the process can be complicated for foreigners. That is why in this video, we will be breaking down the steps needed to be a German citizen. Welcome to the official channel of Komuni. My name is Joy and thank you for watching. If this is your first time watching, please subscribe and let's begin. In Germany, the process of citizenship is not that simple because German citizenship laws are quite complicated. But by the end of this video, you should know all the requirements and procedures that you need to become a German citizen. So the first question you need to ask is, why would I want to be a German citizen? Becoming a German citizen is different from having a German PR. A permanent residence permit allows you to stay in Germany for an unspecified period but it is not the same as being a citizen. So though you can actually enjoy some right in Germany, there's a particular right you cannot enjoy unless you become a citizen, and that is the right to vote. If you're not a German citizen, you cannot vote people into power. And voting is an important right for anyone residing in Germany. If you've been living in Germany for a long time, it is important to decide your future by making your vote count. So, German citizenship grants you equity and gives you a voice in the country. If not, why the struggle? How then do you become a German citizen? There are three ways you can become a German citizen, and this is either by descendant, by birth, or by naturalization. By descent, this means that you are a descendant of a German citizen. And this is possible when you have at least one German parent. And it does not consider whether you were born in Germany or not. You get German citizenship by descent if your parents register you to the German authorities in the country you were born in before you turn one year old. By birth. By birth refers to being born on German soil. If you do not have German parents, but you're born within the borders of Germany, you can qualify for citizenship by birth or by right of soil. You can get this type of citizenship under the following condition. One, if at least one of your parents had lived in Germany for at least eight years before the birth of the child. Or if at the time the child is born, one of the parents had a permanent residence permit. Thirdly, by naturalization. Citizenship and naturalization is the option for foreigners. And to be eligible to apply for German citizenship through naturalization, you must be a resident of Germany for at least eight years. But if you attended a German integration course, you only need seven years of residence to be eligible for naturalization. As a foreigner who has stayed long in Germany, you're most likely going to apply for German citizenship based on naturalization. So, what makes you eligible for a German naturalization? Firstly, you must have lived in Germany on a residence permit for at least eight years. Or, you must have lived in Germany on a residence permit for at least seven years and attended an integration course. Secondly, you must prove German language proficiency of at least B1. Thirdly, you must be financially able to support yourself and your family without any help from the state. Fourthly, and this is also important, you must be a law-abiding citizen with no criminal record. Don't forget that you must pass your citizenship test. And finally, you must renounce any previous citizenships. What are the requirements for German naturalization? Now, to become a German citizen through naturalization, you should be able to fulfill one of the following criteria. The first one is proof German language proficiency of at least B1. The second is you must have an admission letter to a German upper secondary school. You must also have a certificate that confirms you have completed at least four years of school in Germany with a passing grade. Don't forget that you must have a proof of completion of higher education degrees in German. Also, you must be financially independent and capable of supporting yourself and your family without using state welfare benefits. This is also very important, guys. Be a law-abiding citizen that has no criminal records. Don't forget that you must pass your naturalization test and must give up on any previous 
citizenships. Now, what are the steps? When you have met the requirements, you can now proceed to filling out your application form. You have to obtain an application form from any of these offices, either from the local immigration office, the city council, the regional district office, or the town council. You then fill the form accurately. Keep in mind that the form is written in German since it's expected that you understand German already. The second step is to write the naturalization test. After filling the form, you should write your citizenship test. This test proves your knowledge in Germany. And the questions are mostly about living in Germany, the German society, the German rules and laws. And there are three questions that are specifically asked about the region where you live. You are expected to pass at least 50% of these questions. And to write this test, you have to pay a sum of 25 euros. However, you will be exempted from taking the test if you are a child under six years old, if you cannot take the test due to old age, illness or disability, or if you have a higher education degree from a German university in politics, law or social sciences. Thirdly, you must pay the application fees. There are fees that you will have to pay during this application process, which include the fee for the application form for adults, which costs 255 euros, the fee for application form for children under 16 years old, which costs 51 euros, not forgetting the naturalization or citizenship test for 25 euros, citizenship certificate for 25 euros, and finally, you submit your application. You would have to submit your application form with the required documents at the same office where you have obtained the form from. And these documents include the application form, the receipts to show that you have paid all the fees, and lastly, your naturalization certificate. When your application has been approved, you will be informed where to get your citizenship certificate from. But please remember that you would have to pay a token or 25 euros to get the citizenship certificate. This certificate proves that you have all the rights as any other legal resident in the Federal Republic of Germany. So, these are the steps to becoming a German citizen. You can seek professional advice from German naturalization experts to increase your chance of success. But with these few steps, you're well equipped to take that first step to becoming one. That's it for today, guys. Let us know if this video was helpful to you. We will be expecting your feedback in the comment section. And please subscribe to watch more of our videos. Thank you for watching and bye.